When we had last left Team Bald, they continued their adventures, descending ever deeper into Durlag's Tower. Yes, after solving many puzzles on the second floor involving Kiel and perhaps uh, some other folks, but mostly doors everywhere, they were able to proceed one level lower, which was filled with a gauntlet of three different choices. <laughs> <laughs> and a big well that exploded in the center. Also, some sort of bone museum, a bestiary, as a skeleton explained, and then exploded? Alas, Team Bald opted not for either of these places filled with skeletons or exploding skeletons who talked about other bones. Instead, they traveled to a mossy grass hedge maze thing that was filled with with fucked up dudes who were very powerful. The Ashirukuru. Yes, what was their whole deal? Don't know, but <laughs> they were really strong. Now it was time to perhaps actually set their sights back in time a little bit. This is Baldur's Gate, Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. Let's unhide all of this. There we go. Yeah, and general viewer Nubile Reptile, of course, got for for all this. Thanks as well to the folks who afforded likes and whatnot. But pointed out that indeed these creatures that we fought in here that whoa that were so powerful. Gosh, I thought we set off another trap. It was just this exploding room. But those creatures are entirely unique to. Baldur's Gate. They're not from Dungeons and Dragons or anything. They're made up purely by Bioware. Pretty wild, if you ask me. Okay. So let's sneak on back up here. There we go, if we can even do it. Gosh, I hope so. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Whew. Because, also, Gentle Viewer Brilliant Bovine wrote in, pointing out that, in fact, we may not have looted Kiel's treasure trunk here and gained the ire of all these foul bastards, as I'm assuming will happen. I've got this. What I'm wondering, however, is how powerful are these dudes? Because, you know, if, if I just roll up in here and loot this treasure, they're going to have, like, the full surround on us and probably obliterate the shit out of us, right? I would assume. I guess we'll see. Let's see here. Good. And let's cast some spells on us preemptively because I'm almost positive these will finally attack us. Okay. Let's see. Do we have like protection from evil? Because you know what? These things look fairly evil. <laughs> I will say that much. They look a little evil. <laughs> okay. How about resist fear, detect evil? No. Protection from evil. Okay. There we are. Memorize that. Do I have something else that's good for, like, fighting evil? I don't know. Hmm. More detect evil. Like, I guess that's also a good way for us to tell if these things are evil. We could detect evil. But, I mean, look at them. <laughs> they look pretty fucked up and pissed off. And Kiel, as well, was perhaps the most sinister of the ones that we even learned of, right? Okay. Anything else here that we should get? Harper's Call. What is that? This spell is only available to Harper's. Harper's Call restores a comrade to life to further service the cause of the Harpers. Harpers as in, like, the sub-faction that Jahira and Khalid are part of? The spell functions similarly to Raise Dead, with the following exceptions. The Harper must transfer a small portion of her life essence, 10 HP, to successfully raise a deceased person. The person has but one hit point when raised and must regain the rest by natural healing or curative magic and the raised person suffers a negative 5 penalty to all abilities and scores for one minute, making this spell virtually useless in combat. 
This spell will never reduce the recipient's ability scores below one. Huh. Very useful. I don't know if we'll ever be able to learn level five spells in this game, though. Maybe. I mean, you must be able to, otherwise why did they even make it, right? Huh. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Are we, like, all... Don't worry about me. Oh, jeez. There's, like, me. a massive issue. Okay. I can, but try. I've got this. Right. But kicking for goodness! Okay. This way. Good. If none are better. Let's get Khalid right there. As directed. Dinner here, back there. Shahira. As you direct. Going to the rear area. Full plate and packing if steel. None are Good. Better. And then, then I'll be it, right there. Got it. We want our squishier folks in the back. Okay. Let's quick save and then let's rest. No fucked up dudes have appeared. Okay, we're good. Let's quick save again. And then let's deploy the buffs. Let's see here. Let's get haste first. And bless up. Good. Good. And then how about protection from evil? We'll put it on myself, why not? Because I'll be in melee. Where it'll actually maybe have an effect. Defense of harmony. Good. Anything else? Slow poison, bark skin, zone of sweet air. Hmm. Is Cloak of Fear... Huh. Cloak of Fear is kind of... Yeah, it doesn't have a duration despite it being a, a cloak. Or called a cloak. Okay. Let's get woodland beings out, I guess. Dinner here. Do you have a summon like that, too? I think you do. Can't you? Yeah, spiders. Okay. Though, really, we probably should have buffed them up, too. Okay. Great. Now, let's clear out our inventory a little bit. That way we can loot these things. Okay. How about... Hmm. How about we give that to Minsk? Do we even need these ward stones anymore after we've proceeded through the entryway? I have no idea. Okay. There we go. Do I have any more room I can clear? Like, I guess I could get rid of these wands. And we'll hold off for now. Okay. I was about to cast one, but we don't know how strong these guys will be. They looked intimidating, though. Okay. Good. Don't worry about me. How much loot do we have in here? What's there to grab? Money. Does this anger them? How about... Morningstar. Okay, there we go. Alright. That makes sense. Okay. Khalid, steal yourself. Let's go on over here. Fuck these dudes up. Enrage. Good. Okay. Lovely. Let us launch horror over here. I'd assume that they're kind of resilient to horror, though. Right? If I had to guess. Let's also try... Put some doom over there. Oh shit, Khalid getting a little fucked up. We're getting a lot fucked up, I should say. Okay. Holy shit, let's try and heal him before he dies. He died. Okay. <laughs> wow. They mean business. Okay. Ha. Huh. New plan. Okay. We run all of Team Bald back into this room. And we, we make our stand over here. Or into this room, right? We could fight from this little room, too. I don't I think there were any dudes in here. Full plate and packing steel. Okay. Good. Oh, fuck. Y'all are going around this way? 
Okay, do do not do that. If none are better. All right. Back here. I am gone. And then I'll pull him back. Right. Can I control the nymph? I can. Okay. Good. Let's try this. You Quick save. You got it. Loot. This shit. Okay. Ugh. There we are. Power up. Good. Okay. And then let us try and fucking blast him, I guess. There we are. Flame arrow, why not? Okay, looking good. Chug a potion real quick, preemptively. Beautiful. Okay. Let's also have a horror go out back there if we can. Okay, it's all looking good. Anything else we need to do? I guess we could come in and preemptively cast a heal on main character here. Minsk getting a little fucked up. Let's have him withdraw. Oh, he's clogged up in there. He's clogged up in there. Somehow dinner here is in here as well. She has gone into fisting mode. Okay. Dear God. Get everyone out of there. Fucking A. Fucking A. I've got this. Okay. Minsk. Get the fuck out. What is this? Who is in the way? It's Khalid. Go, Minsk! Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Here we go. Like this. Good. Let's try it again. Okay, and then... While this is going on, I'll loot. Cool. Over here. Shit. Okay. Good. Engage. Excellent. Great. Okay, have all these things attack. Cool. Great, okay. And then let's launch the flame arrow over here. And let's have you start pelting them. Lovely. Cool, all right. Killed that one, easy enough. Lovely. Okay, this is Khalid. Khalid is leading the charge. That's not good, we don't, we don't want that. Okay, worst case, if this also goes poorly, we'll just make them swap to ranged. Right. Okay. Over here. Good. Let's have you shoot in some more shit. Acid arrow. Make sure everyone's on the same one here. Good. Chug a potion. Lovely. Shoot in another arrow, I suppose. Get this one. Okay. Holy shit. It ain't looking good. Okay. Let's see. Cure some wounds here oh. if we can. Can we reach through all this nightmare? Holy shit, I don't know that we can. I'm gonna start self-healing in a major way. There we go. Okay, heals are going up and out. Alright, it's looking good! Oh, we got him! Okay. Whew. Just need to get the position and gone a bit better. Go Ryan would be okay. proud of your actions. Good. Did they drop it? Oh shit, there's another dude right here. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh okay. The there we are. Jahira, uh, can you heal me up real quick before this thing kills me? Let's see. Let's also launch magic oh. missile. Holy shit. Non-stop potions. Non-stop potions. Jeez, and Pete. Okay, Khalid is gonna fucking go down if he, <laughs> if he if he doesn't get healing. Can someone heal him? Can someone reach Khalid? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Our worst enemy so far has been people getting clogged up in all this nightmare zone. Okay. All right. That'll do. <laughs> Okay, let's quick save. Heal up. They respawn. Oh shit, it's you! Okay. 
Oh, good thing we still got our buffs and stuff active. Holy shit. Dealing a fair bit to us here. Okay, I'm gonna pull off real quick. Good. Let's see. Let's have you launch magic missile over there. Let's have Khalid pull off too, if possible. Fucking A. Okay, let's actually swap to our fucking dart, why not? Khalid, chill the fuck out. What's going on here? What's going on back here? Okay. Jahira, do you have any heals remaining? No, you do not. Okay. Try some rigid thinking, I guess. Alright. Let's slurp another potion. Good. Everybody starts slurping big time. Good. More magic missiles. Fantastic. Fuck me. Imwin cannot get through. Once again. The environment is our worst enemy right here. Okay. Go, go, go! Good. Alright. Whew! Crisis averted. Is this a new one? No. Jesus, Pete. Let's do a quick save. Huh. <sighs> okay. What is this? What are these bolts? Bolt plus two. Okay. Not that thrilling. How about what else do we have here? Can equip these. Good. Alright. We quick saved. Can we rest without pulling aggro? Okay, we're good. Alright. Dinner here, do you have room for IDing? Yes, you do. Okay. What is this buckler? Kiel's buckler! Ah! This is the buckler of Kiel, the Legion Killer, firstborn son of Durlag Troll Killer and Clan Prince of his father's ill-fated tower. Its lightweight and excellent craftsmanship increase the dexterity of all who bear it by a single point. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if that's an upgrade for anyone, though. Right? Yeah, I don't know that that's actually useful to us. Because we don't have a light shield user. We got Khalid, but he's already using this big-ass thing. And he kind of needs it. Because otherwise, Khalid's, like, shockingly squishy. Okay. Hmm. How about... We swap over to Spider's Bane. Good. Should we just dump it on the floor? I feel like we need to be doing some dumps, you know? Let's check out the Morning Star. Now, maybe this will be useful, right? Let's see here... Kiel's Morning Star plus three. Is this a mace? It's a flail slash Morning Star. Fuck me. Okay. This is the Morning Star of Kiel the Legion Killer, firstborn son of Derlag Troll Killer and Clan Prince of his father's ill fated tower. He was wielding it in his final hour as he rushed to warn his father of the doppelganger's infiltration of their clan home. It is said that the intensity of his rage in these final moments permanently imprinted itself upon the weapon. All who wield it are overcome with this battle anger whenever an enemy is sighted. Oh shit, causes the wielder to go berserk. May only be removed with a remove curse spell. Hmm. Hmm. It's really good though. And going berserk isn't necessarily that bad. Especially if you're wearing Kiel's hat. Ah, once again, the full set. There is meaning to, to it all, right? Okay. But is this an improvement over... Like, Minsk would be the person who I give it to, right? <sighs> right? No, oh, no. We don't really have anyone who's skilled at using flails. Do we? Hmm. Kind of the trouble with not being able to just respect people's points and all that. You know? Find a really good piece of equipment, but really 
no one is suited to wielding it. Huh. Because I would love to have this entire set popping off on one person to where it's like, oh yeah, your character is prone to going berserk and like losing control and all that, but you've got Kiel's helmet which protects you from it. But unfortunately, you know, the, the hammer here is just like no fucking good, right? Hmm. Jeez, sorry, my mic is like freaking the fuck out. <laughs> the boom arm is like going buck wild. Okay. Huh. Well, we can equip this at the very least. There we go. Clear up a little bit of room. I guess, let's see, is it is it an improvement for Minsk? The damage goes up, the Thacko is lower by one. One less Thacko, but one more damage. <sighs> I don't know about that. I feel like, at the end of the day, I would rather have higher hit chance than higher damage. You know, doesn't that make sense? I feel like that makes more sense to have higher hit chance. Yeah. As cool as it is, it's just not going to cut it. Okay. Yeah, we just, our party just isn't built for it. We don't have anyone who don't specializes in that kind of thing. Okay. Good. Let's go on down here. Should we quick save again? Of course we should. Of course we should. There we are. And then we'll go back into this room. And I think we'll check out everything in here. Don't Hopefully the me. fucking Ashikuru haven't come back. Oh god. Oh, I hate this. <gasps> How did Minsk survive? How did he survive? It looked like he was in the blast radius. Fuck, I hope they don't respawn, though. They're probably the worst thing we've had to fight so far. <laughs> right? Because I, I just don't know how to exactly counter them with our current setup, right? I don't know that we have, like... I guess the best bet is to just know ahead of time where they're at. Because it's not like a, a booby trap where we can go very slowly and detect them and then get the jump on them and, like, explicitly plan our group around, like, okay, we'll have our tank go in first and draw the aggro and everyone else um, sort of lay back and start doing damage that way. Right? Okay. What's our situation over here with all these bolts? We are starting to run out, which is good. Okay. Do we need to pick this? It looks fine. Don't worry about me. Okay. Let's send Imwen in. I'm gone. Stealth mode activate. Oh, this room looks sinister. What are these? Are these like wall sconces filled with blood? It looks safe. Okay. Huh. I mean, I guess there's no, like, telltale signs of bodies rotting upon the floor. How about over here? Let's have the rest of Team Bald continue. I've got this. What did I unequip on myself? Oh, look, I, I equipped the wrong sword. My bad. Good. Gorion would be proud of your actions. I am gone. Okay. More ammunition, of course. Big heads again. Strange. Okay. Oh, a ghoul. Okay. Let's pull him back in case the room is like rigged to blow. Fall in. Fall in. Oh, I've done had enough of this. Good stuff. Alright. Cool. Emlyn, you go forward again. Huh. Antidote right there. 
Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Better part of valor. Better part of valor. Don't worry about me. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Let's rest. See, when we're on fire like this, is that gonna deal damage and like kill Khalid? Like he doesn't have a debuff active, but he is visibly on fire. This will be a good experiment. Because we just saved. No, there are okay. So many places I it's just a visual be. only effect. Oh shit. Okay. Motherfuckers. Alright. No! Good. How did Khalid heal up? Huh. Okay. I guess it was a partial rest and we got some healing spells off or whatever. Okay. I've done had enough of this. Hmm. How come the angel skin ring isn't showing up on the on ground here? Alright. Odd. Alright, fair enough. Arrow of Ice. Do we have any others of these that we could equip? Shit, I don't think so. Yeah. The trouble with these bolt plus two is like we've only got a couple of them. Maybe we'll just run them out real fast. Okay. You want it? You've got it. Very well. Good. And then let's disarm this. I've done had enough of this. Good. Okay. Anything else messed up in this room that's gonna get us? The mask in tomes. Down four tunnels lie four foes. Kill all four. And the game begins. Ooh. The mask in tones. Fire, ice, slime, and wind. <laughs> the, the other element is slime? Okay. All must perish to continue. She who fires flame must be killed before her bow is drawn. What? Hmm. She who fires flame must be killed before her bow is drawn. The mask intones. Queening can change a match. Much for the worse if you're the other player. Mask intones. Ooze only parts before blows and spells, but evaporates in the cleansing fire. Okay. So ooze only parts where blows before blows and spells. So we're going to fight a slime that we cannot kill. But if we catch it on fire, it will die. So maybe we take it over to this thing back here, right? This is a pretty good fire for killing shit. Just like how we lured the skeletal dudes in there, right? We could do that. Depends on how big the slime is though. Queening can change a match. Much worse if you're the other player. Don't know what that means. Might we move on? There's someone who uses fire attacks, and we have to kill them quick before they use a bow. Which, okay. Sure, I wasn't planning on letting someone just live. <laughs> Normally when we do fight someone, we do try to kill them as fast as possible, so I don't know, unless there's some extra meaning there. Alright. Well, you want it? Let's You've see. Got it. Can we go inside of this door or are all the like trials and tribulations elsewhere? Eh, we can go in here. If we want to. Do we though? This way. Is this place rigged to blow? Oh look. It's another passage out of here. Okay. Hmm. Do we have any fire arrows? We do. Okay. Useful. In fact, here's some right here, I think. Yeah. Let's get those on M1. Alright. Let's see. M1, you proceed forward again. This way. See if you detect anything weird. Looks like that's it. Yeah, just another way to get in and out. I feel like we should explore the other wings of this. The two other ones. Right? I feel like the challenges that these big heads are telling us about are in this next area rather than in this floor 
right? Because notice there's nothing pertaining to this, you know? And then it mentioned, yeah, four tunnels, and this is three. Okay. Sure. Anything over here gonna blow me the fuck up? Oh, maybe this is our fourth tunnel. Maybe. Okay. Do we need to pick into this door? Looks like it's free to open. I've got this. Okay. This way. Oh. Nothing in there. At least from what we can tell here. Oh, I see. Okay. Notice the coloration as well. Maybe this is the one that contains the fire sorcerer or whatever. Because it's slightly red. So I don't know what this one would imply. Maybe nothing. Okay. Oh, look. Yeah, here's a third tunnel, I bet. Pertaining to these heads. Is this not... It's not a passage. Okay. Weird. Sure. Okay. Maybe we enter this weird circles room from what would normally be the exit? Let's do that. Before we cross over that way more to the north. Or northwest. Is this safe? Looks safe. Okay. Good. I'm sure there were, there will be more skeletons in here, though. I don't, don't think we got them all. Me. All right. Good. This way. Yep. Skeleton. Fuck it up, M1. There you go. I've got uh -oh. this. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh jeez, it's kind of strong. All right, let's have more ranged. Do some attacking here. Okay, let's have fucking Imwen like roll back here. There we go, man. Dinner here really just obliterates the shit out of stuff, huh? I've got this. Okay. Cool. Let's have Jahira top you off. There we go. Do some heavy healing, why not? Drink a potion too, clear up our inventory a bit. Lord knows we find plenty of them now. Good. Okay. Let's reconfigure our group's me. positioning here. If we even can. Everyone just kind of standing still staring at each other, wiggling ferociously. Okay. I'm gone. Good. And when you go in there, is there anything else in there that's messed up? It looks fine so far. Got some more fire arrows, it looks like. Yep. Okay. No booby traps. That's good. Anything else? I'm gone. Oh, more skeletal dudes. Okay. Let's haul ass back. Great. Get the rest of the team balled up in there. Cool. Good shit. Alright. Let's go up this way, get these dudes. Oh shit, there's a booby trap. Okay, let's get this sweet yum yum air. Okay. Oh shit, she's doing it way back here. Oh, it does it, the like sphere of influence is enormous. Okay. Good. Get the rest arranged over oh. here on this shit. Oh. Cool. Let's see. Let's fucking throw some darts, I guess. Go, go, go! I'm assuming there will be another booby trap either here or on this plank of wood. I can, but try. Okay. How come Khalid cannot wield his the dead shot? What is that? Why not? 
Huh. Yeah, I don't understand that. What happened? Oh, it's because he's a fighter. Well, no, you can still use it if you're just a normal fighter. You just can't be one of these combos. Yeah, why can't Khalid use it anymore? He just goes into fist mode. Does it have something to do with his shield? Huh. Yeah, weird. He can't equip it. Does he not have six strength? No, he does. Weird. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Oh, it's because his ammunition is all bolts of lightning. Okay, I see. We'll drop that. And let's move over some arrow plus one. Good. Okay. Lovely. Just doing this in the middle of combat. It's fine. Okay. Good. Go for the eyes, go. go for the eyes. Rask! Lovely. Let's get Imwin up a little bit. That way she can be detecting if there is something that needs to be detected. Okay. Cool. Looking good. Oh. Lovely. Let's also chug another potion. Why not? Like, we may as well just be popping these potions left and right, because even if we run out, there are more behind us that we could, like, loop back around to grab. Okay. Good. A lot of money. Alright. Don't worry about me. Oops. I bet these are, like, arrows of dispelling. Let's see. Oops. Yep, Arrow of Dispelling. Who's got some of those? Was it Minsk? Hmm. Oh, fuck, I don't even know. Bolt of Polymorphing? Huh. I don't know. Who had them? Oh, we gave them to... Well, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, we gave them to Jahira to hold on to. Okay. Very well. Good. Alright. I guess that's good for now. Let's see. How about this one? What is this? Ooh. Okay, we need more charges? Oh no, wait, I didn't give it to you. Yeah, there we go. Arrow of Dispelling. Fair enough. Good. Okay. Let's quick save. And proceed forward this. a bit. Oh. Oh gosh. Jeez. Can we actually go down on this, like, weird carpet or whatever this is? Is this oil? I think this is a shitload of oil and it's, like, all being suspended by... Yeah, the, all the platforms are, like, chandeliers with planks of wood. Okay. I've done Let's see. Had we'll quick save and we'll send M1 ahead. Just in case she hits a yeah stray booby trap. Okay. Another skeletal dude over there. We'll pull back a bit. Get them to come over to us. Don't worry about me. Very good. Okay. Lovely. Oh Yeah, knowing that there's so many health potions everywhere has kind of sped things up to where, like, I'll just quickly click on, like, having Imwin chug a potion. You know, because we're not exactly hurting for keeping them. Another skeleton. Good. We'll wait for that dude to come over. You want it? You got it. Great. Oh shit, Imwin just decided to go melee mode. No good. Go, go, go. There we are. Alright, I think we need to pull back here because there may be a booby trap on that main thing. I've done had enough of this. Good. 
Let's have Jahira top her off too. Okay. That'll do. Okay. Let's have Imlin go forward again. Dear Lord. Okay. Do we see anything on this? I, I would expect there to be something on that. Uh, yep, there we go. Okay. Now these other two should be cleared out now. Right? Yeah. Whew. <laughs> That's from the circle blasting room. Don't worry about me. Okay. Whole bunch of ammunition. Like, I guess if we wanted to, we could probably... At this point, yeah, like... Minsk is carrying around a bunch of weird shit, as far as ammunition is concerned. And we could have him stop that. Okay. Look here, pick up... Bolt plus one. Good. Or... A stack of... I don't know. Fire arrow. Good. What else do we have that we can put up there? Hmm. Anyone else carrying around like low tier shit? Yeah, we got some like low tier bullets. Okay. There we are. Good. Okay. That's good. Good, good, good. Dropped all the dumb shit. Let's get... Hmm. I guess we'll just have, like, dinner here hoover up a whole bunch. And just start IDing the hell out of it. Maybe. Oh. Oh, wait. For some reason, I, I became Minsk. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to where I was clicking. Okay. Let's see. Arrow of fire, we'll give that to you. Give that to you. Good. Alright, yeah, this is looking better. Great. Don't you need some plus two bullets? Yes, you do. Okay, Arrow of Ice, we'll pass that over. Good, and these are also Arrows of Ice. Yep. Stack those up. More of them, I think. Looks like Acid Arrows. Okay, identify that. Arrow plus two. Arrow of Ice again. Okay. Okay. Sure, that looks fine. And any others here? Yeah, quite a few. Okay. Those were... Fire plus two, air, or acid plus one. Good. Move this over. Alright, oh shit, you've got quite a few fucking things, huh? Okay. Move those up top. Good. And I think these are also dispelling arrows again. Yep. Which are maybe going to be useful. We'll see. All right. You I think that's everything in this section. Right? Ooh, fuck. Not a fan of the sound popping off, though. <laughs> it's got to be said. Let's see. We can take these. Get them auto ID'd. There we are. Huh. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah, because every skeleton in this room was an archer. Okay. Let's heal ourselves up a little bit. Oh fuck me. I've done had enough of this. Okay. Yeah, the only issue is like with how cramped everything is in this dungeon, it's really illustrating how wild the, the pathing can get out of control, you huh? Want it? You got it. <laughs> right. 
how, how we'll, like, see, I just clicked right there, and look, Minsk and Jahira are deciding to go all the way the fuck around. Okay. Squeaky wheel gets the kick. Good. I've got this. Okay. Hmm. I cannot save it this time. Is it because this trap is still active? I think so. Okay. Let's go over here like this. Jeez. I would love to quick save in case we, like, run into something, huh? Okay. This we'll way. send him one ahead. There we go. There's our quick save. Let's also rest, get our shit back. Good. Oh, I bet this is the slime tunnel, huh? Look at that. It looks kind of green and slimy. Okay. I don't think anyone's picking anything up. We'll pop this door. Ooh. There's a dead-ass person in this one. Huh. Okay. Is there a booby trap? Or did they just die in here for some reason? Yeah, I think they just died in here for some reason. Alright, yeah. I guess this is... Or yeah, they're probably meant to correspond to each element, and slime is meant to be like earth. So I guess slime is green. Okay. What, what were they again? Was it wind and water? See, that's the issue with wind and water, is that both could be blue though I guess wind you would make white if because water can't be white if you're color coding it all don't worry about me okay good I've done had enough Let's proceed of this. forward here and this should be the final one unless you're wind you're you're saying wind but you mean like thunderstorm electric storm so which would be purple <laughs> which I don't know looking at this might be the case. Well, no, it looks kind of very similar to this one. Okay. So these two are kind of mysterious to us. As to which or whatever they are. Don't worry about me. Alright. So this room we can expect will be filled with some sort of weird asshole. Right? That we're meant to use That's some like hero of yore to help us with. We'll just enter from the, the back area can hear it walking or flying around. Almost sounds like the beating of wings. Okay. Yeah, weren't there supposed to be wyverns in here or something? I don't remember. Okay. Big old bunch of bones. I've got this. Are we going to end up fighting a creature this big at some point, or is this just like fun decoration? Okay. How do we get down from this? Are, are these steps? They might be. Okay. This way. And when you go forward. Okay, yeah. Greater Wyvern. Sure. It's coming over. Uh oh. Alright. Let's get everyone quickly buffed up if we can. Haste us. And bless. Good stuff. Alright. Everyone get on that shit. Cool. Jeez, it's powerful, huh? Okay. Let's send out some big heals too. Healer Healer needed right here. Flame arrow, I think, against this thing? I've got this. Because aren't, aren't wyverns, like, you know, known for being resistant to poison, I believe? Oh, dear God, who's it going after now? Oh, Jesus, it's Chihira. Chihira, get the fuck out! There we go. Whew, Hachi Machi. Okay. Let's get some heals going on, huh? Heal yourself up there. Good. I'll chug another potion, why not? Okay, and more healing. 
Do we want to buff up again? I guess we could cast, like, protection from evil. I don't know if wyverns are considered evil, though. Right? They may just be, you know, they're just creatures. They're not necessarily good or evil. Okay. I mean, I guess we could cast it. Why not? There we go. Good. Get another heal off here. And the defensive harmony. Okay. Cool. Don't worry about me. Let's head on in. Are we thinking there'll be any like booby traps here? Is that a different kind of wyvern head? Is good as done. No. Okay. I'm gone. Good. Another one over there. It's fine. You want it's going it? in rumble. Okay, and let's try horror. We think we could scare it. Maybe. I don't think we need rigid thinking, though. I don't think that's going to do anything to a wyvern. Oh. Nah, scaring it didn't work. Okay. Acid arrow, we can try that. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be very yeah, resilient right to it, though. You want it? You've got it. Okay, Jahira, do you have any more heals? Toss me one if you can. Okay, let's get Minsk into melee. Same goes for Khalid. I've got this. Jeez, and Pete. Okay. Here we are. Get another potion. Whew, Minsk is getting fucked up bad. Shahira, you need to pull off of that. Let's see here. Let's cast this. No! Jeez, I Pete. Dude, these fucking Valor. wyverns are pissed as shit. Okay. Does Khalid, just by way of being Khalid, whenever he gets low health, there's a chance that he'll, like, get feared? Is that just an, an aspect of him, or is that some, like, item I have on him? Huh. I feel like it's just what he does. You know? I feel like that's just a Khalid thing. Alright. Slurp a drink if you can. Oh dear. Good. Let's now launch an acid arrow. There we go. Whoo! Wow, the acid arrow worked great. Or no, it did not. Yeah, if anything, the, I don't think the Acid Arrow did anything to it. Because after dinner here, Cassa just says, Greater Wyvern, Magic Resistance. Okay. I'm assuming that means that Poison does not work on them. Don't worry about me. Alright. There we go. Good. How did the fire damage do, though? The fire arrow. How was that? Huh. Jeez, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Scrolling through all this, there's a lot of shit going on. A lot of pausing and unpausing. We'll never know. It's impossible to know. Let's heal up. Okay. Good. I will say, though, Don't although these motherfuckers me. are tough, they're a lot better. I prefer fighting them over the... <laughs> over the fucking weird invisible dudes. Okay. Good. Look, there's just some, like, desiccated corpses here. Neat. There's one more wyvern up there as well. Let's go after them. Let's use our enrage, too. Cool. Hopefully it's just a single one. Look, I can't even move. There we go. Good. And let us get a little bit of haste. Why not? Cool. Try and put doom on it. 
I can even target it. There we go. Cool. Heal up a bit. Oh shit! It's doing quite a bit of damage, huh? I've got this. I'm gonna pull back a bit here. This way. Good. My blade will cut you down to size. Okay, and then dinner here. Toss out a flame arrow if you can. We'll do another yeah. slurp. Oh you fuck. Want it? You've got it. Okay, we're definitely running the fuck away now. Okay. Swap to dart. Go, Khalid. Also pull back if you can. Swap to ranged. There we go. Good stuff. You got a ding. Oh, dinner here did. Okay. Good. Let's make sure we swap our weapons back around. Cool. Alright. Another quick save and another rest. Alright. Let's see. What kind of a level have you got? Level five, two spells. Is that what we wanted? That might be what we wanted. Let's take a peek. Wow, yeah! Well, no. What? <laughs> Is that what we wanted? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that was on... Oh yeah, it was on Jahira, the Harper's Call. Which means... I don't know. Well, that said, look, when you look at Jahira's pre-scroll it only it goes up to seven but for dinner here it goes up to nine so i don't know how the scaling is on that though you know i would assume if they have it in the game this thing specific harper's call i would assume that jahira can get it all right what do we want here though cloud kill this spell generates a billowing cloud of ghastly yellowish green vapors that is so toxic as to slay any creature with four or few or four or fewer hit hit dice and causes creatures with five to six hit dice to roll saving throws versus poison with a negative four penalty to be slain. Holding one's breath has no effect on the lethality of the spell. Those above six level or six hit dice must leave the cloud immediately or suffer 1d10 points of poison damage each round while the in the area of effect. Which sounds really powerful, but once again, one of the issues is that we can't tell the area of effect of something, right? There's no, like, casting reticle. So it becomes problematic to even consider using something like that, because, like, odds are we're going to friendly fire. It's very specific in that... Friendly fire is very likely. I mean, I guess if we fight something really gigantic, but I don't know if we'll fight anything that big. I feel like we go with monster summoning, right? 60% chance of receiving one monster, 40% chance of two monsters. Sure, monsters. Give me monsters. Why not? Okay. Neat. All right, well, holy shit. I suppose when next we come back, this. we'll continue looking around this floor, right? We'll check out this big dead dragon's head, which is over here, and there's, like, some lost, forgotten heroes of yore. Remember, we could have used them to help fight the very powerful wyverns and whatnot. Honestly, they would have been more useful in the other room. In the labyrinth and all that, sure, the, the greater wyverns and all that, the wyverns, they're, like, really strong. But we can tank them, you know? We can tank them. I bet even on max difficulty, like, it's totally doable if you've, like, intelligently built your team and everything, as you would expect from someone playing on max. But over here, against the, like, Ashrikuru or whatever they're called, having a summoned dude to just be bait, that would have been useful, right? Because they... They will one-shot half of our party. All right. Well, when next we come back, like I said, we'll check out the rest of this room. Looks like we're nearly done with it. And then we have these four tunnels, which I think we need to do in a specific order. Right? We'll have to confer or, or seek out the wisdom of these gigantic heads once more. Right? Something... I feel like we know about the slime thing. I'm not sure. Was there an order in which you do it? One of the ones that's really curious is, is like, yeah, kill the fire one before it draws its bow. But what is the strategy there? I don't know. 
Because those are both ranged, right? I don't know. I guess we'll find out more as we as we proceed ahead. Okay. Durlag's Tower. Until next time, please take care of each other. Bye.